Hello and welcome back to another Ray Contra video, and in today's video we are going over the various stereotypes encompassing blade ball players depending on what abilities they use. Make sure to subscribe because only about 20% of the people watching this are actually subscribed right now. And now let's get into it. Dash is the starter ability, and honestly this could be anyone. Regular, though, it's either a new player because it's the ability you start with, or it's a really good player who just understands that Dash is actually one of the best abilities in the game, with some of the most outplay and tech potential in the game. Dash is overall really good, though, so it's used by a wide variety of people. And overall, I can't really complain about the people who use Dash. Only new players use Super Jump. This is literally just another double jump, except it's replacing your skill slot, so it's never worth using. I guess you can do some funny stuff with it, like double jump, super jump into the ball, and then it goes straight down onto someone and they can't really see it. But nobody really uses it except for new players who want to replace the base ability you spawn with, assuming that if you paid for it, it's probably better. When in reality, a lot of the early abilities are still worse than Dash. Nobody uses platform. Like, literally nobody. Not a soul. This is, in my opinion, the worst ability in the game because all it does is make a big rod. Like, I guess you can use it to put distance between you and another person, but nobody really uses platform because it's just not good. Invisibility is the most annoying ability, in my opinion. Everyone who uses invisibility literally just sits next to someone and waits for the ball to target them, and then you go invisible and let the ball kill the nearest person. Alternatively, you hide until standoff and use this as a get-out-of-jail-free card when you're about to miss a parry. <laughs> Thunder Dash is kind of mediocre, but it's generally used by fans of the anime Demon Slayer because it's like the move that Zenitsu uses. Alternatively, this guy just thinks it's better than Dash because it's a teleport move, so it's like Dash, but instant. But actually, Dash is still kind of better. Bleach Fan 99% of the people using this are Bleach fans, who probably cosplay one of the many possible Bleach characters that you can make in Roblox. The other guy who uses this doesn't know what Bleach is, and he just uses it because he thinks it's better than Dash. He thinks it's better than Dash because it's just like Dash, but invisible and you have more movement control, so honestly it's kind of reasonable. I have never seen anyone using Wind Cloak ever. It makes you faster and jump higher, but nobody uses it. I guess the stereotype would be you're probably a good player, so instead of some crutch ability you used to fall back on, you instead take a straight stat buff that amplifies your already good mechanical skill. You couldn't afford telekinesis. 90% of the time, freeze users just wanted something similar to telekinesis, but they couldn't afford it, so they chose freeze as the next best option. Alternatively, you have a friend using telekinesis, and you combo freeze and telekinesis together to amplify the speed of the ball before it hits someone. Then again, you could also just be poor. Sweaty Loser Force Field is for sweaty losers. Force Field is used as a crutch by players who aren't confident enough in their pairing ability, so they use Force Field just in case they get too close to someone, or get targeted by telekinesis, or get stuck in a 1v1, or have to do any more than a cross-map slow ball parry. Force Field is a huge crutch for everyone who uses it, and I'm sorry if you use Force Field, but I hate you. I don't hate you personally, but if I see you in the game, and I see you using force field, I'm going to target you, no matter what, because I do not like force field users, and I will never, ever like force field users. Stop using force field, you have no friends. How about you get a friend that could maybe parry the ball for you, instead of this stupid bubble that you need. This is a pretty similar case to Wind Cloak, except more tryhardy, kind of. If you use Raging Deflection, you use it as soon as it's off cooldown because you know you're going to be able to keep pairing the ball regardless of its speed. Raging Deflection users are usually really good at the game and use it because of their overall good mechanical skill. So why not make the ball go faster? You know you're going to be able to parry it until it's standoff anyway. So many people use Telekinesis. Like, it's really good and it's easily the most versatile ability in the game. You can use it to save yourself if you miss a parry, you can use it to teleport the ball across the map at like at Mach 5 and instantly kill someone. You can use it with freeze to amplify it even more and instantly kill someone. 
Telekinesis is overall used by too many people to have any specific stereotype, but for the most part, you've been playing the game for a while or spend money because it's 5,000 coins, and then it's like 10,000 almost with upgrades. Along with that, you're probably a tryhard, but not in the bad way like force field users, because you actually use something that takes a little bit of timing, unlike force field. My personal favorite skill to use, pull is used by huge assholes. I know this because I'm a huge asshole. There's so many funny things you can do with pull. You can stand behind someone and pull it while it's targeting them, and then while their thing is on cooldown, you hit it into them. You can pull it away from someone and then hit it into them while their sword is on cooldown. Or you can hit it at someone, pull it back halfway, and guess what? Hit it into them while their sword is on cooldown. This one is basically free kills, and it's also fun to use on, like, force field. But yeah, if you use this, you're still a sweaty nerd. Like, if I didn't use this, I would be so angry at pull users. But I simply can't be angry at pull users because I am the pull users. However, there is also the second type of pull user, which is the person that just got pull and doesn't know how to use it and does stuff like this. It's a fucking bomb. I fucking miss it, Tyrant! <laughs> yeah, fuck. Phase Bypass is pretty rare to see since it's only in the wheel, but because of that you can almost guarantee that this guy plays the game a lot or has spent a lot of money, so he probably plays the game a lot anyway. One thing I've seen that Phase Bypass players love to do is let the ball chase them and run with it, and then hit it while it's inside of you, and then you instantly die if you don't preemptively block. It's not exactly fun to go against, but I guess I can't hate them because I just don't go against enough of them. I'm like 90% sure Rapture is another Demon Slayer reference, however most Demon Slayer fans don't have this because it's also obtained in the wheel. 1% of the people who use this cosplay Tanjiro and Roblox, and the other 99% just play this game a ton and don't even know what Rapture is and they just got it from the wheel. Alternatively, you just got really lucky when you started playing so you started with Rapture, but overall it's surprisingly not anywhere near as much Demon Slayer fans as you would expect. So, you know how in a Soundsmith video, he skips certain items if not enough people use it to develop a stereotype? I was going to do that here, but Waypoint is actually pretty cool, and I've been going against a few people who have it pretty recently. One thing I've noticed is, like, why do Waypoint players play Valorant? Like, it's, it's obtained via the pack, so you can buy it. All of the people who I've seen buy it are friends of mine, and they all play Valorant, and they all play Chamber. I know that's the reference. It's Chamber from Valorant. But you don't need to buy Waypoint because it's not even that good. Waypoint is not worth buying. So you wasted money on this, which is, you know, just dumb. But whatever. Infinity is for Gojo cosplayers. All, you could also just be a YouTuber or you just have a ton of money because it costs like $120 to unlock Infinity. It's not even that good, honestly. If you aren't a YouTuber and you aren't at least someone rich, you're just really committed to becoming Gojo and Bladeball. So you're like me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I know, stereotypes, right? They're supposed to be funny and slightly offensive, so don't get mad in the comments, or do because it boosts my recommendations. Um, sorry guys, but no tier list this video, since it's the first video on Blade Ball, I don't really want to put a, a stereotype, or, I mean, I don't really want to put a tier list at the end of the first video in, in the series on a new game, so I promise next video, so I promise next video there will absolutely be a tier list, but in this one I just couldn't put one in because I've never done a Blade Ball video before. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, join my disc, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, so, uh, join my discord, have a good day, and goodbye.